Playwright has released the version 1.32 and they are introducing the UI mode. This is basically a mode that lets you explore, run and debug tests and comes with a built-in watch mode. Mm, let me share with you the Cypress documentation here and I'm gonna compare a little bit Playwright with, with Cypress. In my perspective, Cypress, uh, well, is it's a, a very relevant framework at the moment that I'm recording the video and, I, and one of the main reasons of why it is so relevant it's because of its test runner and the test runner well came with the time travel characteristic and basically Cypress takes snapshots as your test run so we can over over commands in the command lock to see exactly what happened at each step now playwright has introduced the same characteristic it is becoming a, a very hard competitor in the market and this is a, a very powerful feature that i want to show you in this video so let's let's take a look of how it works and let me know in the comment section what do you think about this new a well feature that playwright has all right masters let's start taking a look of my example basically the first thing that we have to make sure is that our framework using playwright it has the dependency at least in the version 1.32 right this is the the well the, the only requirement to be honest then i'm gonna make sure it's using the test install play, playwright browsers command here in visual studio code to make sure that i have every single browser correctly installed in my computer right this is basically the command npx playwright install chromium firefox and webkit so now that i know that i have everything in my computer working correctly also i'm going to check that my uh, well dev dependencies and dependencies are uh, up to date and working fine um i guess that the next step is going to show you uh, the example that i have right this is the the automatically generated the script that playwright has it is basically testing this particular to do mvc application here and well it is going to perform different test suites over here for instance to make a new to do to create a new to do to mark mark all as completed uh, item editing countering persistence routing and so on right so uh, let's let's explore a couple of ways of how you can run a, a playwright test by default right and and one of them is using the command mpx playwright test and uh, well telling playwright what test to run so for instance we can run this one let me show you this mpx playwright test and i'm going to be executing this particular script which is on uh, under the tests folder and inside of the test folder i'm gonna have the demo to do app that spec that yes and i'm just doing that by command right so if i run this it is going to start the execution in every single browser that i have installed in my computer it's going to work on play right and i'm sorry on chrome firefox and webkit right um so it is just a matter of time to get this totally executed right and well, th that that that's uh, one way to execute your tests, right? Probably this is the way of how you're gonna do it in CI/CD, probably, right? Um, but also we have seen in the channel another extension or another way to play play with Playwright, right? <laughs> and it is using the extension Playwright Test for VS Code. Okay, with this particular extension, we have a new a body here in our Visual Studio code and it is the testing tab here right so uh, for instance I can run the same set of tests uh, over here or I can debug it and, and I just have to click on this play button right and we're gonna have the execution in progress and we're gonna have a final result in a few seconds right that's something that we have covered in the channel if you want to look for playwright the uh, Visual Studio code extension Young Media you're gonna have it for you you're gonna have full video uh, that explain this extension right and all the details and all every single feature that it has but now well playwright has the ui mode and how it can run it it's so easy you just have to use the flag dash dash ui okay so i'm gonna do it i'm gonna run the same command that i did before but now with the ui flag at the end so I, i'm gonna just track and drop here my playwright test runner if i can <laughs> name it in this way and you can see that now well we have a lot of options here and let's explore every single of uh, every single option that we have available the first one is this beautiful toggle color mode so we can have a light and dark mode right that's beautiful so then we have another um 
button here to reload, right? Let's imagine that you add something else and it is not reflecting the test here or you don't want to see the last execution, you can use the reload button. Also, here we have the output uh, if you wanna only see the, the output, the, the logs, right? And well, now that we know that, we can filter our tests uh, by by past, or let's imagine that I just want to run the failed ones, so I can filter them here or skip, right? And I can select uh, what um, browser I want to use, right? So I'm gonna stick with Chromium. So let's imagine now that I want to run my test suite over here. So I'm gonna run every single one here, every single test that I have in my suite. Okay, the magic is happening. Now when I have this <laughs> executed. I can come here, for instance, to this new to do test script, and you can see that I have every single test under this suite over here. And let me show you this because this is so beautiful. Now, if I click, for instance, over this first test should allow me to add to do items, I do have every single action that happened under this particular test script right so that's <laughs> that's the power of this feature so for instance you can see every single action here the first one is going to be the go to so we're gonna be going to the well the to do website right also you can see in the console what is going on here in the network every single action or request that happened under this particular action and also the locks you can see the time that took, the parameters, the return value, the lock, and every single detail of that, all right? So in the next step, it is gonna do a locator that fill. Okay, let, let, let's let's see what is going on here, okay? So we're typing something in the, in the, in this particular bar here, right? Where we can add a new to do. So you can see the before and the after, just as we have also in Cypress as well, right? Also, we can check off the press. Let's imagine, let me show you the, the test script over here, what is going on. But basically, the this test is going to press enter to, to well, add the need to do in the list. So here we have the before and the after. That's so cool. And every single action as well, for instance, the, uh, well, the assertion, right? So you have here the locks, if you wanna check what is going on here and why it is working or not. Also, you have the console, the network requests that happen at the moment, and also the source uh, to, to check exactly what is going on in our code and what is executing. That's so powerful, guys, right? And you can see that every single action here is recorded and we can use a kind of a time travel characteristic to make sure uh, or, or see what is going on, right? That's so, so powerful. So let's make an, an assertion error to see how it works. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna open my Visual Studio code and I'm gonna well, make an, an on purpose failure, right? I'm gonna change this array from zero to one. And something that you have to notice is that we have to reload the test execution to get the results, right? So let me show you this. So we are gonna be running this and at the end we're gonna have an assertion error. That's, that's cool, right? However, as you can see, here we can see the error, the source uh, or the exact line code that is failing. Here we have the console, the network and the lock of, with the error, right? <laughs> that's so, so awesome, right? Let me show you this, this is the error, okay? But one of the interesting parts that we can have with this beautiful runner is that we have this button here and it is a watch button. Okay, now I'm gonna change the assertion to the correct one, right, to zero. And if I save the changes, the execution is gonna start automatically because the test runner that Playwright has is gonna start watching the changes. That's so cool, guys, right? And also, well, we have here the button to open this in Visual Studio Code and it is gonna redirect us to the Visual Studio Code kind of text editor, right? So guys, I think that that's basically it. Um, also, we have the well, stop button in case we wanna st stop the, the stuff. And also you can see the output over here with now with realistic locks, right? So I guess that also, if you, if you wanna check the filter to make sure that it works correctly, right? I can, um, well, change back 
this assertion to an incorrect one, right? And I can show you the result here in the test runner, right? Uh, here we have the error. And let's imagine that I don't want to run every single test again. I just want to run the failed one, right? Right. So, well, I just have to change this and there it is. We can see that now it is a passed test and we can have the filter over here if you want to. Right, that's so beautiful, guys. Uh, well, that's basically the video. I just wanted to show you uh, why this new feature that Playwright has is so awesome. And of course, I recommend you that you come here to the Playwright um, website. You can see the release notes. And of course, it has new stuff. For instance, new APIs and different stuff for, uh, for component testing, browser versions, and so on. And you can see here the the discussion, the video discussion for every single version where they are explaining every single change that they are doing. So, well, thank you very much to the Playwright team. They are doing an amazing job. And here we have, uh, well, uh, a new framework that is doing this the, 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 the work pretty well and it is improving every single week. So that's, that's it for now. Thank you very much, Masters, and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.